Good evening, everyone. It's, uh, it's such a treat to have real folks back here downtown gather together to celebrate what is an absolutely wonderful evening for our scholarship award winners tonight. So thank you all for you know, getting through the traffic and making the effort to come down here. I appreciate it very much. Before we get started, I would just like to acknowledge that we're on the ancestral lands and traditional territories of the Puget Sound Coast Salish people. I would also like you to uh, know that if you need a Somali or Spanish interpretation, we have both available, and I'm going to ask uh, for uh, Miguel. There he is in the back. He'll, uh, you can go see him, or he, he will come see you if you'd like uh, translation. And also, uh, Mohammed for Somali. Thank you both for being here. I, my name is Michael DeBell. I'm, uh, I'm the chair of the uh, Seattle Schools Scholarship Fund trustees. And uh, I have the distinct honor to, uh, to be the first speaker tonight, uh, th one of many. Um, so welcome, everyone. Tonight, we've come together to celebrate and honor a remarkable group of young people who have been chosen by their counselors. This is a unique scholarship that the, the students don't apply for it competitively across you know, dozens of people, and then one is selected. The counselors take a long, hard look, and they select the students. And then they're, they're uh, confirmed by the, the, the trustees of the Seattle Scholarship Fund. So these, um, these students are going to receive a scholarship of $5,000 tonight and be recognized by the leaders of Seattle schools for their accomplishments. There are three students from each of our high schools who have been chosen for their resilience, their determination, their leadership in their schools and in their communities, and in essence, showing grace and thoughtfulness while overcoming significant obstacles. You're going to hear from them, those who are present here tonight and wish to speak uh, later in the program. They will come up to receive their award together by school, and I hope you'll give them the affirmation they deserve. So, what is Seattle Schools Scholarship Fund? Who are we? And how did we come up with a quarter million dollars to, to give out to these students tonight? This, uh, this scholarship fund is 49 years old, although some of our trustees are a bit older than that. <laughs> We're retired and active principals, counselors, teachers, administrators, and PTSA leaders. We've always had one sitting member from the Seattle School Board on our Board of Trustees, and we've been very fortunate to have Director Leslie Harris. Please stand up, Leslie. <laughs> For most of her eight years of service on the board, she has also served on our scholarship committee. We're all volunteers who give our time and our money. We all donate to this fund because we deeply believe in the mission of helping young people. We have approximately $1 million in our, in our account, and we have many donors who sponsor individual scholarships every year. The Seattle School retirees are our, our oldest and biggest donor. Several former teachers and principals have left large bequests in their will to our fund, and we have also absorbed other scholarship funds over the years. So gradually, we've accumulated more money We've raised the amount of the award, and finally we got to the point where we're, what you see tonight, we have uh, over 50 scholarships given out, $5,000 each. So what I, uh, I hope you, uh, you award winners understand is that the money that you're going to receive tonight comes from your community, and love and hope is attached with it. We, we wish you well, and we want to recognize you. <laughs> so, 
So we're, we're a hard working bunch of trustees and, and many of them are here tonight. A few of them couldn't make it, but uh, if I could have all the trustees of the, the scholarship fund stand up and be recognized. Oh, I forgot to say to turn off your phones. <laughs> <laughs> our city and our nation has big problems. And income and wealth inequality is one of the biggest problems. This scholarship is just one small effort to improve opportunity for our young people. But if they combine it with other m help that's available, and if, if you show your institution of higher learning that you're determined, and serious, you can go as far as your dreams will carry you. One problem we don't have in Seattle is a lack of talented and ambitious young people or families and school staff to support them. So tonight, you're gonna hear from the leaders of our school system, School Board President Brandon Hersey and Superintendent Brent Jones. They're part of a vast team of people who have dedicated themselves to public education. Your success, the road that you've led, that has led you to this event, is full of their efforts. From the folks who make and serve meals to the bus drivers, the teachers, the downtown staff, but especially the counselors who put a lot of thought and effort into choosing you. Please give them your thanks and please consider joining their ranks. A little, you know, rhyme there as you move through your next phase of life. Could we have all the Seattle School staff members please stand and be recognized? <laughs> so just on a little bit personal note, like most of you, I'm the first in my family to graduate from college and I'm pretty sure you're gonna be the first, many of you will also be that in that role. And like most of you, I worked during my education and learned the importance of organizing my time and efforts between work and study. I hope the challenges you overcame to graduate from high school can become a source of inner strength that you can draw on whenever you need it. Congratulations. And now, <laughs> School Board President Brandon Hersey. Thank you very much. So I think it's a very quiet room in here and this is a celebration. So like give yourselves a round of applause because this is no small feat. Like <laughs> there we go, turn up a little bit. We're handing out $5,000 checks. I don't know why, <laughs> it's like I would be geeked, right? <laughs> there we go. That's what I love to see, oh my goodness. Uh, so my name is Brandon Hersey. I have the honor of serving as your school board president and from one president to a former president, thank you so much for leading what is a very amazing effort. I remember when I was a kid and uh, my sister was going to college, I cried and cried and cried mostly because she was going to be leaving and she was going to leave me with my other sister. <laughs> but I was like, oh my goodness, how are we going to pay for this? Where are my next pack of Pokemon cards coming from? I don't, <laughs> like, college is expensive. And then I learned about what a scholarship is, right? Money, somebody will literally give you money to go learn, to go to school. At my age, I thought, why would anyone want to go to school after they were done with school? But when you think about what a scholarship really is, it's less about us paying you to learn and more about us investing in you and recognizing that, hey, you got the sauce, you got the juice. You know what I'm saying? Let us try a little bit in what we can do to make that transition a little bit easier. Because for many of you, it will be the first experience that you've had at a higher institution. And for many of you, your life paths will take you on to much bigger and better things than any college could ever prepare you for. But what we wanna say in this moment and what these very dedicated people across the hall have said is that, hey, you have shown us something really special that is inside of every Seattle Public School student and their parents, so parents, this is just as much a celebration for you as it is for your children. But you have gone above and beyond. You have persevered, you have shown resilience, 
academic excellence in a way that deserves recognition. So, from me to you, congratulations. You have thoroughly earned it. So, I am going to uh, go ahead and pass it over to Superintendent Jones so that we can get to the fun part. Um, now, I said I was gonna be up here for like 20 seconds. You gotta go faster than I did so that we can hand these checks out, all right? Thank you, President Hersey. Um, first of all, I wanna thank the Seattle Council PTSA for generously sponsoring this event. All this stuff costs money and our Seattle Council PTSA, who are parent, the parent group, uh, generously provided funds for this organization, for this uh, celebration. To our students receiving scholarships, we're proud of your achievements. Uh, and one thing I wanna do, just stop and pause for, are your family members here? If, you, if you're a family member of one of the scholarship recipients, I don't want you to just raise your hand. I want you to stand uh, and be recognized. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you. Those people that just stood helped you students get to the place that you are today. Um, we appreciate your commitment. You all embody uh, Seattle excellence. Our strategic plan is about Seattle excellence and you all are embodying that and we appreciate that. Know that you're already successful. I don't want you to have to be out there reaching to become successful. You already are successful. What we are embodying you now and catalyzing for you is now to go be great. Claim that victory. Um, my job as the superintendent of Seattle Public Schools is to create the conditions for you all to thrive. And it looks like you all are doing that. So thank you very much for your diligence, walking through the process, doing what you needed to do. Hopefully you understand that this scholarship is a recognition of your hard work. I also want to uh, echo President Hersey's uh, gratitude for just you all being here. And to the scholarship committee, thank you so much for putting, putting all of this together. Uh, Without further ado, I wanna also recognize all the SPS staff people here today. You all also, if you're able, please stand. Thank you. We can't, give, we can't give you enough credit. And so students, I want you to stay connected to these folks. These are the folks that will uh, help you to navigate through all the systems. And when you get to uh, wherever you're gonna go in your post-secondary experience, the road is gonna get hard every once in a while. Lean back to these folks, reach out to them, because we are here to support you, care for you, and love you. So uh, thank you so much. And without further ado, we'll give it back to Chair DeBell, and we will have uh, a, an opportunity to start passing out these scholarships. Here you go. We have one more speaker before we hear from the, uh, from the students themselves, and that's Myrna Muto. Come on up, please. She's representing the, the School Retirees Association. <laughs> Former counselor. And teacher. Congratulations, scholars and families. Thank you, school counselors, for your work nominating this year's Seattle School Scholarship Fund awardees. The Seattle School Retirees Association, SSRA, is one of the state units of the Washington State School Retirees Association, WSSRA. There are more than 17,000 retired school employees represented by the WSSRA, and the Seattle SRA is one of the largest units with 871 members. We are pleased to, to be one of the major sponsors of the Seattle Scholarship 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 fund scholarships presented this evening. The SSRA also provides scholarships to high school students who plan to be teachers, school counselors, or psychologists. We even provide scholarships for teachers during their internship year. We consider ourselves educators for life. If anyone here in this room are or have been a certificated, certificated or classified school district employee in the state of Washington, from superintendent to school nurse or classroom teacher, 
to the lunchroom staff or paraprofessional, you are welcome to belong to the SSRA and thus to the WSSRA. I joined the SSRA 30 years before I retired. We salute the scholars and their families and encourage you to use us as a resource in following your future dreams. Thank you. So we're, we're going to move into the, uh, the ceremony. And you know you have to have, it's like a rite of passage for these young people. They're going to graduate from high school. It's one of the bigger rites of passage in life. And we get to have a, a special ceremony to, to give them our blessing a and some money. <laughs> so we're going to do this by school. And uh, there are three uh, scholarship winners at each school. They may not all be here. and I. Wasn't I didn't uh, check with the check-in people about how, how many are here, but everyone sitting over here is is are our scholarship award winners. So we're going to ask you to come up, um, all however many you of you there are from the school, hopefully three, and we would like the counselor from that school to also come up, and the counselor can can announce the three winners, um, and if they that's not possible, then they we we will make other arrangements, but then they're going to receive their certificate and have a photo with our, our two uh, school leaders, and they're also going to get a rose and a lanyard, and then after they get all of their goodies, they have a chance to speak, and we would really love to hear from those of you who want to. It's not, you don't have to. It's not required, but if you do speak, tell us a little bit about how, uh, how what you went through to get to this point, and uh, maybe what your plans are. If you are th thinking of a of a certain institution, um, whatever you want to talk about, though, is possible. Try and keep it r relatively brief because there's a lot of you, and that's a really great thing. So maybe two minutes, and um, yeah, don't forget to thank your family. Okay. So we're going to start right in. I, if I can have, uh, I think it's Clara, and uh, I'm not sure who's handing. We've we got duties up here for the, uh, the lanyards and the, and the roses. And, uh, and then you, you gentlemen, if you can get ready also. And so Alan T. Sugeyama, please come forward. to also include, my name is Emily Gartner, I'm the counselor. Uh, Miss P, Miss Perez, and Dr. Powell, you also need to come up because at ATS we are a family. <laughs> <laughs> These are some amazing students right here. They are, honestly, when I think about them, especially in the mornings when I'm tired and I don't want to wake up and I don't want to go to work, I think about them. I think about how awesome they are, what all they've already accomplished. And I'm just so proud to be here with you guys. So, anything, if you guys want to share anything? I'm sorry, we're yeah. going to have to keep it really short. Uh, so short. All right, so this is a Judge, of first, Judge Pedro. <laughs> Andrea Palanchik. <laughs> and Alexa Diaz Morales. Thank you. And if you guys could come back and get a photo with these gentlemen or wherever, where's the media person? Where should they stand? <laughs> there we go. Would any of you like to speak? You're welcome to, to speak if you'd like. Yeah, yeah please, please, we, we want to hear from you. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for um, everybody that's here, for families, friends. Um, I just wanted to express how honored I am to have been 
seen as a valuable member for this award. And <laughs> past couple years have been insanely tough. Um, just trying to get to high school w with my little one right there. Um, and being a single teen mom has been probably the hardest thing I've ever had to go through. But with enough support from teachers and friends, I did it, here I am. And this award is motivating me to go even higher. So, thank you everybody. Thank you. Um, I want to say thank you to the foundation, and I agree with Andrea. Um, I am a single teen mom too, and it's been really hard. And thank you to my parents for supporting me and always being there for me. And also thank you to Ms. Perez, because she's my number one supporter. <laughs> Did you get one of these? No. Did you get one of these? Okay. One more. By the end, we'll have this down. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> it, we've, we took a few years off, so we're a little rusty. But uh, I'd like to ask Ballard High School to come up, please. And do we have a counselor from Ballard or any staff member from Ballard who would like to come up? Then I'm going to turn it over to Myrna. I'll pinch it. Okay. Ballard, Natal Natalie Anderson. <laughs> Sienna Salen. And Sir Henry is not here. Sir Henry. Come on over here. Hi guys. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for everyone who supported me. My school counselor, Miss Peterson, isn't here today, but she's truly been like the biggest support ever through everything. I first saw her freshman year because I was just having migraines, and then um, junior year, my only parent passed away, so she helped me transition into living by myself, and she's just been the greatest supporter. Um, yeah. I just want to say that it's an amazing privilege to be here and get this award. It's so amazing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, I want to say thank you to Miss Olson, Miss Bravo, my counselors. They were there for me definitely when I needed them the most. Um, moving out of my house was really difficult, but um, Chris and Bridget and my boyfriend have been amazing in getting me to where I am. And I just really am excited to take this opportunity to jumpstart my career. I want to go into nursing, so this is going to be amazing. Thank you. Okay, so far everybody's been very brief. You can actually talk a little longer if you want to. Uh, the center school, please, please come up. I'm not sure that we have a counselor from the center school, so Myrna is here. Welcome, Wilhelmina. It's so nice to recognize you. Wilhelmina Colby Osterich.
I would just like to say how grateful I am to be here. I'm so thankful to my family who supported me, even if that meant like a, a 12 o'clock PowerPoint review um, and a lot of <laughs> difficult schoolwork things. Um, and I'm so grateful to my friends and to my teachers, especially who um, gave me endless academic and creative opportunities. Um, thank you so much to everybody. Alicia Manet Rodriguez and Rain Rudashabush could not make it tonight. Chief South International High School, please come up. So my name is Daniel Rosen, Counselor Chief South. I had so much prepared to share, but I'm going to hold off. I'll share that with you all individually and your families. I am very proud to present some incredible students here. Kyler Blanton, Rena Oto, Heine Marshall. Hi, my name is uh, Reno Otto. I attend to Chipsau High School. I would like to share a little bit about my school journey. Growing up in a small island called Samboa, I always felt like I was tested for something bigger. I was a curious child who loved to explore and learn new things as I got older. I became passionate about science and technology, and I knew that I wanted to to pursue a career in a field that will allow me to make a positive impact to the world. Throughout my academic journey, I have worked hard to excel in my studies and take advantage of every opportunity that has come my way. I have participated in research projects, internships, and volunteers. Work that I have allowed me to gain hands on experience and develop my skills. Last but not least, I am honored to receive this award. And thank you to my editing for being here. And I am so proud of myself and everybody over here. Thank you so much. That was great. You know, she speaks for all of you. You should all be very proud of yourselves. Yeah. <coughs> Cleveland STEM High School. Okay. Hi, I'm Paulette Thompson, and I am Cleveland's trustee. Their counselors couldn't come, and assistant principal Jackie Cagle is um, on the way, but she's not here now. So I'm going to introduce these wonderful people. I see you all in the halls. When I'm there, I am your trustee. So we have Yosan Gezahan. We have Trayvon Mitchell, and we have Sojourner Williams. Come on down. Um, I would like to say thank you to my counselors and my teachers, Ms. Nepsay, Ms. 
Kenyai for like their support. Without them, I wouldn't be able to excel like both academically and personally. Um, um, in the future, I plan to like study neuroscience with the pre-med track. Yeah. Hey. That's my plan. Um, I would like to say thank you to my family, first of all. <laughs> Um, with them, it's a lot of support. I couldn't ask for anything better. Um, I'd like to say thank you to God. Um, the reason <laughs> I feel so, I'm excited for my future with my family and my grandma. She, um, before she passed away, all she wanted for me was to do the best that I can and excel in any way that I feel that I would want to and that I would be happy. So I've chosen to go into culinary, um, starting at um, Grand Canyon University coming up. Um, I'm excited and I couldn't do it without the support of all of, all of my family and all of my counselors and supporters. Thank you. Amazing. Um, well, first I wanna thank God for allowing us to be here today. Um, uh, so yeah. Dang, I just had a blank moment. But I <laughs> uh, my name is Trayvon Mitchell. I attend Cleveland High School. And first, I want to thank uh, Miss Abe for helping me out. I remember when the school year f first started, y'all, like, teachers went on a strike or whatever, big strike. And then we went right back into school. And uh, I remember she was like, did you get your application filled yet? I was like, what? I got to do this? And um, she was like one of the first people to get my uh, to actually get my attention about FAFSA because I didn't know that my family didn't wasn't raised to go to college like I was uh, I was in foster care my uh, you know my my father was in jail but like and you'll never believe that I'll be you know the first one in my family to walk across the stage to get my diploma. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I will be the first to go to college and graduate college at University of Washington. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I, I want to thank Dr. Williams, Mr. King. Uh, you guys really, I remember I met Mr. King in seventh grade. He really caught me at a moment where I was trying to find myself. And it's just, it's just these specific staff members in Seattle Public Schools that really save lives. And you guys are really underrated, underpaid, but I'm here to say I appreciate you guys for all that you guys do and you guys save lives. And thank you, Seattle Public Schools, for the scholarship. That was a home run, man. Two minutes? Say more, come on. Franklin High School, please, please come up. Good evening, everybody. My name is Corey Goldstein. I'm the proud head counselor of Franklin High School. So we are here to recognize three excellent people and excellent students. My colleagues, Tony Follin, Natalie Weinstein. So we do work as an alpha. So I want counselors to introduce the students that are under their alphabet. So Mr. Follin. So I'd like to honor Medina Adam. I would like to congratulate Betsy Nicholas Mendoza. And I want to honor and congratulate Lyndon Vibau. Congratulations to all. Thank you. <laughs> would, would you all like to say a few words? Great. This, this is the best part. This is what everybody wants this, to hear from, from you all. Who'd like to go? Um, firstly, I would like to say that um, I'm honored, I'm blessed, and um, 
to receive this uh, scholarship. Um, I want to give my shout outs uh, to my girl right here, Raylin, and my big sister, Lydia. Um, I also like to say thank you to Mr. Goldstein for nominating, uh, for nominating me for this scholarship. And um, I just, I would like to give a, a quick overview, overview of my story. Um, so my first hardship was when my, going into my eighth grade in the summer, um, on the day September 12, 2018, uh, my father passed away from uh, stage four cancer. And um, even through all that, I walked through the stage, uh, eighth grade year, with the um, high chest, high pride. And um, I ended up taking, because I play football as well, so um, I ended up taking my talents to O'Day, actually. So I started up at O'Day. Um, I did two years over there. I played football and baseball. And um, I just realized that it wasn't for me. In uh, my sophomore year of high school, um, when ev everything was so crazy, we had COVID, we was doing online school, and that's when my mom got stage four cancer. And uh, my mother ended up passing away my, uh, my sophomore year. And um, that's when I kind of realized that uh, I wanted to take, I wanted, I wanted a new start. Uh, I wanted to take a new path, <coughs> take a new path. Um, so then I took my talents and my, uh, of course, my educational spirit to Franklin. Um, I seen that it was most fit. Uh, and I know we got a lot of school officials in here, but uh, my junior year, I did terrible. I did terrible. I was barely passing my classes. First semester D's, second semester D's. Um, sorry, Mr. Ghosting, but um, <laughs> it was, it was, I know he was stressed out. I know he was stressed out. But um, it was, it was a dark place for me because it was my first year. It was my first school year without my mom, playing football without my mom. Uh, she was my entire life, both my parents. And uh, senior year, I hopped into my first semester, came out with a 3.2 GPA, and I bounced back. <clears throat> and uh, during all that, um, I ended up getting a trip out to Montana, and um, I'll be taking my educational talents and my uh, athletic talents um, down to Northern Montana University. I got a full ride down there. And, um, I just want to say, uh, I lastly want to say thank you to my parents because um, through, that, through their absence, I'm receiving all these rewards. And I ask myself, why don't I feel like I'm earning these? And um, it's because they really deserve it. And um, I just want to say, uh, mom and dad, this one's for you. I just want to say that I'm really thankful for being here tonight. Um, I want to shout out Ms. Weinstein for believing, me, believing in me and, you know, just helping me throughout this whole college process. And I also want to really thank my mom. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, we came to this country, no money, no English, you know, just from scratch. And now I'll be attending UW Seattle and majoring in uh, architecture. Good evening, my name is Medina Adam. I really appreciate this award and being recognized. I wanna thank my counselor, Mr. Follin, and Franklin as a whole for selecting me and valuing the work I've done in, in and outside the classroom. This award would truly help alleviate some stress and anxiety I had about my financial aid gap. With this opportunity, I plan to pursue a degree in informatics at the University of Washington. Thank you. Once again, thank you so much. Uh, Garfield High School, please, please come up. Um, Myrna's gonna gonna do the do the honors. I am your trustee, and I'm gonna get in touch with you guys. Okay. So from Garfield, we have Lakel Bridges. 
Javon Gladney. And Jalen Jackson. Hi, my name is Lakel Bridges. Uh, I want to say thank you, first of all, to my parents uh, for supporting me throughout my high school and middle school and everything journey. I want to say thank you to my counselor, Mr. Lee. He's not here today, but he's definitely helped a lot this year throughout college process and everything. Um, thank you to the Seattle Schools Board and the Scholarship Fund. Um, the money won't be going to waste. I will be going to Howard University to study biology. <laughs> and hopefully do veterinary science. Um, thank you. Thank you. Next up we have Ingram High School. Please come on up. Hi, I'm Ashley Warner and I'm one of the counselors at Ingram High School. And I'm so excited to introduce our scholars tonight. So we have Giselle Jenkins. <laughs> oh, sorry. In the way. And Akash Adrian Mitchell. Hi. Congratulations. Hello, hi, Ang Ang, I saw Giselle Jenkins a cook. Hello, my name is Giselle Jenkins, and I'm a descendant of the Nunuk tribe off the Lucia Islands of Alaska, and I'm incredibly blessed to be here with all of you today. I wanna express my deepest gratitude for the incredible support from all of the counselors at Ingram High School. Ms. Warner, um, my previous counselor, Ms. Feeder, Ms. Jensen, Ms. Angie, and Ms. Hughes. And of course to Ms. Kurt and my parents, Linnell and Zach Jenkins. <laughs> and um, they provided me with all the resources I needed to become the scholar I am today and the, um, the place where I am incredibly thankful and worked hard to get to be at. Um, I want to um, express my gratitude for being chosen for this scholarship and I will be using it towards my education at the University of Washington, Seattle, and pursuing sociology and American Indian studies. And um, I wanna talk a little about like just being an indigenous student. I have faced many educational um, obstacles throughout my journey, including financial barriers and systemic obstacles. Um, but this scholarship will provide me with financial support. I need to pursue my dreams of becoming a woman's doctor and an advocate for indigenous women around the world. Um, as I move forward. <laughs> as I move forward with my educational journey and beyond, I will carry all of your kindness and generosity you've given me all and um, your belief in me has given me the strength and resilience I need to overcome any obstacle, and I'm committed to using my educational and experience experiences to create a better world for all. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's a little tough to follow some of the speeches we've had here. Um, I guess I'll just try to keep it short, as my parents have insisted. Um, but uh, I guess I'll just say I really do appreciate being considered despite not really being at Ingram too often. 
Uh, first semester was not there, <laughs> then online, and then I did Ryan Start. But despite all that, I was still considered, and I'm very much so grateful for that. Um, thank you, and also thank you to my parents, can't forget. <laughs> Uh, they've dealt with me a few nights where I was losing my mind, and I managed to excel in a few areas and do decent in others. So, thank you. So we're about halfway through. We're doing pretty well. It's, it's, the speeches are great. Thank you all. Uh, Interagency Academy, please come up. Do we have a uh, yes, please, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Amy Dahl. I am a math teacher at Interagency, and uh, the counselors are so proud of you. And I want to introduce Abdikalik Adan. And I want to acknowledge the other two students who couldn't be here. Jessica Sue, who is very sorry that she missed it and wants her pin, so I'll get that for her. <laughs> and uh, Antony Ford is feeling under the weather today, and sorry they couldn't make it either. Next up, we have Lincoln High School. <laughs> Is there anyone here from Lincoln High School? Okay, Myrna. Lincoln students, congratulations. <laughs> Patience, Kalanga, Margarita. Mega Rig Joe Chirino. Oh. Did I do it correctly? Oh, um, Margarita Melgarejo Chirino. <laughs> I wasn't even close. And we have Rigoberto Ajay Pop. That's okay. <laughs> My name is Margarita and I come from Lincoln High School. Um, I just want to talk about a little bit about my journey. Um, I was born here, but I stayed for seven years and then uh, my parents decided that we should go to Mexico, so I lived there for seven more years. And um, when I was in first grade, after first grade of uh, middle school, my mom decided that I should come back here and continue my studies here. Um, both my parents couldn't come, so I uh, started eighth grade and graduated from uh, middle school, and um, I did not remember any of my English, so it was hard. Um, I was in the ESL program, and I started high school at Lincoln. Um, just last year, I was able to pass the ESL test, and I got out of the program, and now I'm going to graduate from Lincoln High School. I plan to go to North Seattle College for two years, and then uh, hopefully go to UW. Uh, I want to go into the medical field. Thank you. Well, 
favor, um, ¿hay quien speak Spanish? Oh, thank you. Um, la verdad, yo estoy gracias a los maestros de la World School de la Lincoln que me ayudaron en todo y pues, thank you. Um, my name is Patience. I'm from Lincoln High School. Um, I just want to say thank you. I'm really honored to be here. I really appreciate for the scholarship. Um, so I'm from Malawi. I came here end of 2021. And it's been a hard journey when I came here. Like English being my second language. And I would say I went in class for like maybe two months. I would go in class, but then I wouldn't get anything. And it was hard. It was hard. It was a big challenge for me. But then I thank my counselors, my teachers. They helped me. They really supported me till now. And I'm excited. I would say I'll be, I've never gotten a C or a B minus. It's always A plus or A. And I've, I've always been proud because it was hard. Imagine going in class without getting anything. It's all been God. I would like to thank my family too. They've always been supportive. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and I would like to thank the Seattle schools for granting me this scholarship. It's going to help me a lot. I'm planning to go to North Seattle and then hopefully to go to Washington State University. I would also love to go to, to, to go into the medical field. Thank you. The world is looking a little brighter every time. We hear about all, all these the dreams that these young people have. It's great. It's really great. Middle College, please, please come up. <laughs> Myrna apologizes in advance because we didn't have any real training about how to say everyone's name. <laughs> Middle College. Astrid Edelman Alexander. <laughs> Idrissa Samba Gay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Nathani Pinto de Roca. Um, I told myself I wouldn't cry, but some of you guys have made it really hard. Um, and I have mascara on, so I'm like holding it back. Um, when I moved to Seattle, I had been living in a youthless, or I, oh, youthless? Oh my gosh, sorry guys. <laughs> a youth homeless shelter, and I managed to land with a really wonderful family. Um, and I don't really have, um, there's not enough words to describe like how thankful I am for them. And thank you guys for being here to support me. So thank you. Oh, I didn't really come with like a speech, but um, I'd like to say thank you to my mom for, for pushing me and, and holding me accountable. I'd like to say thank you to my brother for making a path for me and and teaching me so much. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can use this scholarship, which I'm very thankful for, to um, continue to pursue my studies at University of Washington, Seattle. Thank you. Nathan Hale High School, please come up.
Bay Raiders. I'd like to introduce Benico de Hoyos. Benicio. And Arnon is Arman is Isak. 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 Amran Isak. Thank you. Yeah, make sure everybody knows your name. Really. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Amrani Sok, and I come from Nathan Hale High School. Um, I was born in Buffalo, New York, and I came to Seattle 2007. Um, sorry, I'm a little nervous. Okay. Um, okay, so freshman year of high school, I participated in a lot of extracurriculars, varsity basketball, varsity swim and dive, um, I'd say I had a community, and it was really glad. I was really glad to participate with a lot of my friends, and yeah. Sophomore year was a bit of a blur, um, COVID and everything. So yeah, there's that. Um, so junior year and senior year, I participated in Running Start. I'd say that I learned a lot of my skills there. It was a bit hard because, you know moving and transitioning into college when you're in high school is something that you know many people aren't prepared for so i'd say a lot i learned a lot of things there and senior year um i also did basketball i learned a lot of my friends there everything was good um yeah so this month has been really hard for me though sorry <laughs> because i lost my brother <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to cry. Okay, but I lost my brother to gun violence in North Seattle. I didn't know he'd be really proud of, proud of me if he were here today. However, I still have my friends and family and my mother and my father. Okay. So this year, I'll be going to the University of Washington, Seattle to study at the Foster School of Business. There's that. And I'm very glad for this opportunity. Unfortunately, my counselor isn't here with me today, but I know she gives her greatest, you know, warms and welcomes and stuff like that. Um, I'd also like to thank everyone who's also giving me this scholarship. I really appreciate it, and it will be doing, or I will be doing good with it. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. The Nova Project, Nova High School, please come up. Hello, um, I am Susan, one of the coordinators at Nova Project High School. Um, we do have a couple students who couldn't make it tonight, so I want to recognize uh, Shakina Alvarado. <laughs> um, and Micah Rowan. And then tonight, I am super proud to honor Rose Prevo. Mm -hmm. I know. I asked her mom. Go get your stuff in the I just want to say that um, Rose has spent the last year in uh, the Skills Center Teacher Academy um, and is gonna be going to Bellevue College to pursue being an elementary school teacher. Rainier Beach High School. 
The Vikings, please come up. Hi. Today we have Daniel Angel Duarte. Taja Renee Warren. And Mariana Angelica, Angelica Vega is not here today. I didn't really plan to say anything, but I thought I might as well. I wanna thank all my friends and all that, but the main person I wanna thank is my mom. Because my dad passed from cancer when I was six years old, and she had to care for me, my sister, and my brother, all in different grades and school districts. And I really wanna thank her, because I feel like I was probably the hardest one, because I wanted to try and be different from my siblings. And I really want to thank her as well because instead of forcing me to like just take the athletic scholarship and like just go with that, she's letting me find other ways to go to college at St. Martin's University and be a psychologist. Hello, I just want to say thank you uh, for the scholarship. I'm grateful. Uh, I want to thank my family and I want to thank Ms. Nama. She couldn't be here, but yeah. Roosevelt High School, the Rough Riders. Hi, I'm Erin Bailey, Academic Intervention Specialist at Roosevelt High School, and I am proud to introduce um, three students from Roosevelt that are earning scholarships. Um, Jonas Haloof, he's not here. Um, Fartoon Abdali and Victoria Macabu. Seattle World School. Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Um, oh, <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Victoria McAboo. Um, and, oh, I don't know where to start. Okay, so um, freshman year was super tough. A really close friend of ours passed away. And going into that, and also being online, was extremely stressful and hard for us to go through. And so I want to thank our counselors and also Ms. Bailey <laughs> for everything that you guys do. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> um, hi, my name is Fartoon Abdullahi. Um, I promise I won't cry, cause like, that's not my thing. Um, <laughs> okay, but um, I don't know, school's been school, you know? Like I didn't plan to say anything, so I don't have like a script going off, but like I wanna thank like a vast majority of the people at school. Number one, Timothy LeBeau, like main man. He's been like the absolute support, even though like I just started getting to know him like last year. Um, Ms. Bailey, you the girl, I swear to God, like, you're amazing, you got the style, you like support all the students and it's absolutely amazing. Um, but I believe I'm gonna go into graphic design and kind of relate that to computer science maybe. Um, but I will be going to do the Seattle Promise at North, I mean, Seattle Central, actually, not North. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Good. 
good. You're all good. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Somebody has to always make a mistake in every every award ceremony, right? Just Okay, now Seattle World School. Thank you, our counselor's not here. <laughs> but we are pleased to introduce Jonathan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yin Ying. <laughs> and Alicia. <laughs> Thank you. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get in the picture. I'm afraid. I'm a little bit nervous, but I just want to say thank you for my teachers and for my mom. Oh God, uh, this opportunity will have a significant impact for my educational journey, and it will help me to. It will help me to pursue my academic and career goal. And thanks for y'all. Thank you. Hi, I, I have a, a speech prepared actually. Okay, um, I moved to US from Peru, my home country, in 2019, and I've been learning English ever since. It's been hard going through high school without fully speaking English, but I know it is worth it. Um, I am currently taking Running Start classes, I'm taking anthropology classes at Seattle Central College. And I would like to thank my family who is here with me. My <laughs> um, <laughs> my moms, my sisters, and my boyfriend. And um, I would like to thank uh, my school counselors, uh, Ms. Teresita and Mr. Rusty, and also Mr. Butler. Thank you for always support me. And thank you for the scholarship. Thank you. <laughs> we are um, down to our last school, so we're going to be transitioning uh, into the last part of our of our award ceremony. Before any of the uh, scholarship winners leave, however, uh, right after we present the West Seattle Awards, we would like to ask you, those of you who would like to, to come up for a group picture, all of you together. This is sort of our signature, look at all these amazing young people and we can put it on our website and, and uh, everyone can see. And of course you don't have to, but if you, if you would like to, we would really appreciate that. And while you're doing that, your family and friends can hit the cake and, the, and all the goodies <laughs> and then you can join them and you can stay as long as you want. So, West Seattle High School, please come, come up. You and me. Carlos Ochoa Gutama. Karina Holiman. And Rivello Charette. Hello, thank you. <laughs> I want to 
Uh, I'm very blessed to be here and very grateful. I really want to thank my counselor, Ms. Hadeen. She's pushed me through everything, my hardships, my grief, my loss, and she couldn't be here today, but I really am proud of her for pushing me through everything. I want to thank my mom as well, who's sitting over there. She is my best supporter. <laughs> I really want to thank the funding as well. This is a great opportunity, and I uh, am going to study psychology at Western Washington. That's where my daughter went to school. That's a great school. Thanks. I'm going to turn the microphone over to our photographer, and, or maybe not, but uh, if you could all just come up, and we'll get this over with real quick, that would be great. So we'll move the lectern out of the way, and if we get everybody to stand up here real quick. I'm just channeling usually tall people in the back, right? It's kind of obvious, but. <laughs> you just won a scholarship. Yeah. The big camera right there, yeah, there's the one that we're counting on. Crack your best smile right here, here we go. Two, three. All right, thank you all so much for coming. It's been really wonderful, and thank you for sharing your stories.